then comes to questions for oral answer. I'll point of order the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Speaker, during question time on Tuesday, Russell Norman asked me a question in respect of release of uh, legal advice. Uh, I have checked and had clearance from the Attorney-General, so seek the leave of the House to table the extract from the Ministry for the Environment's briefing dated the 10th of August 2010 on the legal advice with respect to the national policy statement on freshwater management. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The House now comes to questions for oral answer, and the first question stands in the name of the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. In light of the Prime Minister's announcement yesterday that money taken from families getting working for families would be used to help low-income New Zealanders, will the changes to be made in his budget next week make the Alexander family, who appeared on Campbell Live on Monday night, be better or worse off? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister uh, has said the scheme will be better targeted to low-income families uh, and will be a little less generous to families higher up the working for families scale. In relation to the Alexander family, I simply can't comment on the family's individual circumstances. What I can say is the Government has a strong track record of protecting the most vulnerable uh, families and I would expect that family has benefited from increases in working for families payments and tax cuts. The Honourable Annette King. Supplementary question, Mr. Fa Mr Speaker. Will a family with a baby on one income who received an $11 a week tax cut from the government's tax switch receiving working for families have more or less money from working for families if the changes foreshadowed yesterday are implemented? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, you'll just have to, the House will just have to wait for the budget to get the details of that. Uh, but the Prime Minister has stated that uh, the scheme will be better targeted towards lower income families. The Honourable Annette Mr. King. Mr Speaker, will a one income family with four children paying the mortgage, rates, insurances, power, gas, telephone and car expenses who have told Campbell Live that they have $50 a week left to feed and keep their family, and without working for families they'd be lost, be better off after his budget? If so, when? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, again, the member will have to wait for the details, but as she will know, uh, in both, with respect to both types of families, it depends crucially on what their level of income is, because those with higher incomes get lower working for families payments. I might say, with respect to the family who is paying off a mortgage, they, are, they do have the benefit of the lowest mortgage interest rates in 40 years. The Honourable Annette Mr. King. Mr Speaker, if, if the commitment is to redirect working from, for families from higher income New Zealanders to low income New Zealanders, does he intend to release tables outlining exactly how much better or worse off people currently receiving working for families will be before the election so they can decide whether the policy is fair. If not, why not? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, this government will continue with the same uh, way it handles these kinds of policy issues, and that is considered, responsible, moderate and totally transparent. Point of order, Point Mr of order, Speaker. Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, my the question was very specific about whether the Minister would release tables outlining who was better or worse off before the election. I accept the Minister's question was totally free of any political content or innuendo, but I think the Minister indicated that uh, they will handle it the way they have previously handled it, and it would be a bit, uh, a, bit precious for me to, a bit precious for me to force him to say whether or not that would include a table. But um, the member does have further supplementary questions to put more heat on on that issue if she wishes. The Honourable Annette Supplementary King. question. Pardon? Order. No order. The Honourable Annette King. Poor <laughs> fellow. No order. The Honourable <laughs> Annette King. Supplementary question, Mr the Speaker. In light of the Prime Minister's statement that low-income families have a much greater need for assistance, in what form will that assistance come? For example, greater access to budgeting services uh, so they can make, as John Keyes said, better lifestyle choices. The Honourable Bill English. 
Well, Mr Speaker, assistance to low-income families comes in a number of forms. Uh, in working for families, it's in the form of cash payments. Uh, in terms of um, access to education, of course, it's in the form of the funding directly to schools and to salaries. Uh, and families are enjoying the benefit of a government very focused on lifting the achievement for their children and health services. Uh, the assistance comes in the form of better, sooner, more convenient health services. And, and uh, the government has, uh, has done a uh, reasonable job, actually, of protecting our most vulnerable families through what has been a very difficult time uh, for government finances and for New Zealanders. The Honourable Annette King. Speaker. Why did he recently reduce the additional funding that was to be given to budget advisory services following the Minister for Social Development's promise that they would be adequately funded, that they were doing invaluable work and she considered them local heroes and many of them now face a 70 per cent increase in their client numbers in just the last year? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the uh, Government has provided uh, what we believe to be uh, adequate increases in social assistance and social services. There has been uh, a number of changes around particular grants and particular services. What we, what we often find is that what we often find is that when the increase isn't as large as some people expect, the opposition call it a cut. And I think that basically sums up their economics. Question, a oh, supplementary question, the Honourable John, the Honourable John Biscard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, supplementary to the Minister of Finance. 